Oh my goodness, guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. Wow. I've been in meetings all day and whew, it's been tough going in this heat, let's put that way. But I'm back now and what I've found in town is something very interesting. Let's find this in my bag. A 3-in-1 camera clip. It's a wide angle lens, a macro lens, and a fisheye lens. Now, I've had one of these, I think, different to this, but I've had one of these before for the iPhone 4 that I used to have. In fact, it's just a little clip thing that went over the corner of the iPhone 4 and it was pretty good. So, I got this because it's always useful as a filmmaker to have a wide variety of lenses available to you with different cameras because each camera has its own personality and its own way of doing things. So it gives you options, and options are great when you're making films. So, got a little kit here. This is the uh, wider angle lens, which attaches to the macro lens, apparently, somehow. And that's a nice big uh, lens cap for over the top of it all, and a little carry case as well. So that's pretty good. But it's just a clip that goes over your phone. So, where is my phone? Let's have a quick look at how this should work. Goes over the phone, and clips on a bit like that. Is that even in the right place? Probably. Yeah, I can see it inside. There you are. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It's in the right place. So this should give us a... Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll just video quickly an idea of what's there. You can see the pile of games that I've still got to put away because I haven't had time. But there, it's, it's an interesting... Very much a fish eye, but it's definitely a wider lens than... Yeah, then if I have it not there, oh my goodness. Clarity's not quite right. It, there's a lot of room for lens flare reflections, but it gives you an idea of, well, actually, it gives you an idea of just how messy my office is. I haven't just been able to tidy for weeks because the heat, if I'm in here too long, the heat gets too intense. So, wow, that is interesting. But I'm going to try the macro lens out and I'll compare it to the macro lens I've got for this big camera here. And we'll see how it goes, because I think I may have found something that's very useful for filmmaking. Here, you can zoom in quite far. It's very significant how detailed you can get. This is just a 5p coin. This is on the little macro lens. I am very, very impressed by how good this is. It's just clipped on over the top of my phone case as well. That is a lot of detail you can see. It's not great on... Uh, getting distance you have to be very close but you can get detail and that will be very useful for close-ups on a variety of things in a variety of videos. You have to keep your phone very very steady. I suppose there are pluses and minuses in that respect but it's very good. And this is the same phone without having the macro lens attached. As you can see you can't get as close and you can't get as much detail which you'd expect. Now here's the big camera the one that I use for talking to you and as you can see very very sharp as you would expect it's a 50 megapixel camera and it's got a decent lens on it i mean it is quite small a coin as well so let's just see what happens when we put the macro lens on now there are a variety of macro lenses and zoom lenses this is a relatively cheap one i got it for 30 pounds they go up to the thousands of pounds range so your mileage will vary depending on how much money you're willing to spend and i just wanted something quick and cheap to put onto the end of the camera so that we could get some reasonable close-up shots of uh, Jennifer's trains when we're doing train reviews. So it's not going to be the best ever but it should give us a very nice comparison. So let's quickly switch over. And as you can see we can keep an awful lot more of the coin in focus but even so I'm actually very impressed by the quality and comparison between this and the little clip-on because wow it's yeah we can get very very close with this but we could get rather close with the other one as well so I'm just gonna see how close I can get before this freaks out and yeah we can get an awful lot closer but you'd expect that with a bigger camera with a different kind of bigger lens so overall I am actually impressed for what you get for your money with this little clip to cut a long story short, I'm actually really impressed with this little clip. I thought it would be a little gimmick, but I thought, hey, we'll give it a try anyway, see how it goes, and I am impressed. Fisheye lens, wide angle lens, and macro lens. And macro lens, especially, I'm very impressed with. So, for £4.50, or for under £5, that is impressive. I'm very happy. Right, I've got to get back on with work, because I've been out all day doing a load of work, but... 
doesn't mean that it's all finished. I mean, if I'm in focus, I can't, I am not in focus, am I? I haven't been in focus for this entire piece, so that's just turn off the autofocus and actually focus in. There we go. Sorry about that. It's one of those things. We're doing camera stuff and of course the camera decides to play up. Right guys, I'm exhausted but I've got a lot more work to do so I better get on with it. I'll see you later on and we'll see how we go. Oh, so 